Hello everybody, today we are here with Sue Andrew, an English artist who is especially interested in the Paraguayan country. And so she paints pictures about Paraguay, among other things that she's going to tell us now. If you want to know more about Sue, follow us. And because Sue knows some Spanish, she can answer this question. ¿Cómo estás? How are you, Sue? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tal estás? Very well, thank you. Muy bien, gracias. Sue también. How is that, that you learn Spanish? Right, well, uh, I enjoyed learning Latin at school and I've dabbled in Romance languages ever since. Um, I learned Spanish before going out to Paraguay. Uh, because I thought it was important to be able to communicate with the people there. And I thought it probably be easier to learn other than uh, Guarani, which is also spoken there. Um, and subsequently, uh, I've used my Spanish in, whilst holidaying in Spain and in Tenerife. Good too. And now tell us about your art, like the, the one that you have behind you, or what are your styles, what are your pieces of art about? Okay. Okay, well, I'm a graphic fine artist, which means I sometimes work to, de to design briefs. Other times I'm, I'm working on my own series of art, uh, my own paintings, uh, like my Paraguayan Dream series. Um, uh, in my Paraguayan Dream series, I have tried to create a dreamlike, unreal effect um, with a little bit of naivety to them. Um, and I've created that series in gouache paint, uh, watercolor pencils, and sometimes a mixture of the two. What are your uh, best skills as an artist? My best skills as an artist, I think you could say that I'm quite proficient at drawing um, and I have a heightened sense of color. Uh, which you can see in my Paraguayan Dream series. And what other types of art, apart from pictures, paintings, what else do you do? Right, well, at the moment I'm a painter and a draftsman, as you know, but in the past I've done lots of different types of art, um, uh, lino cutting, lithography, printmaking, um, monotyping, but nowadays I I do scraffito, uh, paint pot pouring, glass painting, um, and that sort of thing, and pastel drawings. And where do you get your inspiration? Where do I get my inspiration? Well, I've always been interested in plant forms, and I am particularly interested in tropical plants. I've drawn and painted in hot houses up and down the country. Um, and then I became even more interested in tropical plants when I went on my uh, visit to Paraguay. I'm also interested in drawing landscapes because I like the, uh, the shape of mountains and the way the light falls on mountains. Um, I'm also interested in harbor scenes because I like the shapes of boats because I think they're pretty funny. And more recently, I've been painting abstractly, uh, inspired by sounds I hear when listening to colorful classical music, such as Rimsky Korsakov's Scheherazade. What do you think are your biggest achievement? The, the, the things that you have, for example, uh, I know you have published uh, so your art in London, in some galleries. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I've been exhibited in some prestigious galleries up and down the country, including in London. I've been exhibited at the Bankside Gallery, the Mal Galleries, the Royal Academy of Arts, um, the Cork Street Galleries, Painters Hall um, and the Barbican Centre. I've also be, had my artwork exhibited in regional Uh, galleries such as the Royal Society of Birmingham Artist Gallery, the Manchester City Art Gallery and um, the uh, Grosvenor Museum in Chester. 
Um, but I've also had a one woman show at the Royal Exchange Theatre. Um, I've also won a number of awards for my art um, and uh, an American journal, the um, academic journal, the um, <clears throat> Journal of Global Southern Studies has shown my Paraguayan dream for uh -huh. painting. Um, but you've asked me what is my best major achievement. Um, well, you have had a lot, but one of them they <laughs> Yeah, um, I would say the creation of my Paraguayan dream series is my best achievement because it has um, brought attention to a little known country and raised awareness of the country of Paraguay, which um, I, well, it's not very well known here in the UK anyway. And in the UK, what are the styles that are you can find more commonly? Well, there really aren't any, in my opinion, because um, there's a variety of styles here in the UK. Um, but um, our most famous artist is probably David Hockney with his variety of styles. Um, But um, apart from him, there's also Damien Hurst and Tracy Emin, who are both conceptual artists, and more concerned really with the idea of the art than the, the execution of the art. My own artwork has nothing in common with either of them. Well, and now moving on from painting, what are your other hobbies? Well, I like stargazing and I like astronomy and I've been to lectures at the Jodrell Bank Centre where they've got a radio telescope. Um, and I like reading about quantum physics. Um, and I like walking in the land, in, out in the landscape around us here. And um, I like doing yoga and swimming in non-chlorinated swimming pools. I like visiting historic houses, gardens, and cathedrals. Very well. Well, and how do you see yourself in the future? What do you, would you like to be doing? Where? In the future, I shall be exhibiting at the Mal Galleries in July, COVID restrictions permitting. Um, and I intend to continue promoting the, the country of Paraguay on social media. Good, Sue. I think um, we have now known about yourself, your art, your experience. Thank you very much for this interview, Sue. It has been a pleasure talking to you. And see you soon. Thank you very much, Esteban. It's been lovely. Thank you, Sue. Bye. Bye.